Welcome back to Inspiring Builds. I'm Dan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of voles in your yard. One of the biggest yard pests are voles that are extremely destructive. Right here are holes and lines in the yard. What these are caused from are voles that like to burrow and tunnel under the ground. These lines are where their tunnels are, and they eat the roots from the bottom up, killing the grass. Voles often burrow under plants and eat away until the plant is dead. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's get rid of them and I will show you how with only spending $5 by purchasing this 4 pack of mouse traps and these 5 inch nails that we will use as spikes. These can be purchased at your local big box store, but I'll provide a link to them in the description below to make it easy as well as another option. Pull the staple out holding down the arm bar. Once the kill bar is pulled back, leave your hands on this side of the trap. To set the trap, pull back the kill bar and firmly hold it down with one hand. With the other hand, take the arm bar over the kill bar and secure it under the metal or plastic pedal, depending on which version of the trap you have. The best technique for me is to slightly raise the kill bar with my left hand when securing the arm bar to set the trap. To test the trap, I will place a nail near the pedal where the bait will be applied. You can see this has a powerful kill bar, but we need one modification to anchor it into place. Use a drill bit. This is a quarter inch. The drill bit you want to use will be slightly bigger than the diameter of the nail, but smaller than the head of the nail. Drill a hole in the trap, and if indoors, a shop back is handy for cleanup. Test the nail, placing it in the hole of the trap. You won't need to do this step as I've already tested it but I want to ensure the trap is able to be set with no clearance issues from the nail. To unset the trap, push down on the kill bar and pull back the arm bar. Drill a hole in the rest of the trap. Again, use the shop back for an easy cleanup. Next, apply the bait. I'm going to use peanut butter. A tip is at the end of the season, cut the grass short going into the winter months as voles get more active in the winter as they need to stay warm and burrow underground. Longer grass only helps insulate the ground, making it a prime location for them. Voles also like oats, so I'm going to apply oats in addition to the peanut butter. Grab a pair of gloves. When mowing, I've seen a vole in this area, and it also has the highest activity, so I'm going to place the traps here. Place the trap next to the hole where the bait side is closest to the hole, and then insert the nail. If the ground is hard, use a hammer to drive the nail in. Test to ensure the trap is secure. If not, drive the nail down a bit more. It has a strong anchor now. Set the trap as shown earlier. Place a second trap on the other side of the hole and anchor it down the same way. I will create another video if you are uncomfortable with traps that shows another method to get rid of voles, it can get rid of a large amount quickly. Once both traps are set, grab a bucket to place over the traps. Place a brick or stone over the bucket so it doesn't go anywhere, especially with the high winds we've experienced the past few months. Repeat the same process for the other hole. Another method that will work are pinwheels that you can place in the yard that spin with the wind and I will provide a link to them in the description below if you want to go this route. The vibration from the wind goes down the straw and into the ground creating just enough vibration annoying the voles making them leave. However, they may go to a neighbor's yard and eventually return so I didn't want to go with this solution. With this process, you can come out daily, easily lift up the stone and bucket and see if you caught any voles. However, I'm going to show another method that works a bit better. Re-anchor the traps in a line on both sides of the hole. The idea is when the vole comes out of the hole, either way he goes, he will get caught. We don't want the vole to escape on either side and want to create a tunnel where it's in line with the traps. You don't need to waste any money to create a tunnel. Simply use some scrap cardboard that you would normally recycle. Place the cardboard by the traps and this doesn't have to be perfect. But I measure about 6 extra inches to the left and right of the traps and make my mark at 22 inches for the length of the tunnel. Use a utility knife and a sharp blade makes quick work out of it even with thicker double wall corrugate. 
Turn the cardboard the other way and measure 10 inches for the width of the tunnel. Next, make a mark at one and a half, three and a half, six and a half, and eight and a half inches. The middle scribbled section will be where the three inch tunnel is, then the two inch sides, and lastly, a one and a half inch section to secure the tunnel. Apply enough pressure to score the cardboard with the utility knife, but not cut all the way through as we will fold along the lines. Fold the cardboard as shown to make a tunnel. Place the tunnel over the traps and secure it down with the nails. Push the nails in if the ground is soft enough or use a hammer to drive them in. The traps were $3 and 10 nails were $2 for the $5 all-in cost. Four nails were used for the traps, leaving six, which I was going to make one long run, but with making two tunnels, it only left three nails per tunnel, which is fine, but the reason why only one nail is on the back side of the tunnel. Repeat the same process for the other side, and we will wait a couple of days and check the traps for voles. I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, I have another one queued up for you in the corner that you'd probably like as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I release new videos.